Hey, what's up? I am Michelle V. This is Channel Nerds, a channel helping you to thrive on YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk about how to pitch a brand. This is a question you guys have been asking me for so long, and I want to show you a step-by-step -step process for how exactly to do it. This video is brought to you by my course, Thriving on YouTube. If you've tried to create a successful channel before, but you just haven't seen the results, or you have a goal to grow a successful YouTube channel, but you want a step-by-step -step guide to help you get there, this is the course for you. You can learn more by using the link in the description down below and now let's get into the steps the first step is to find your brand so you really want to find a brand that you want to work with that you would love to work with that you would love promoting in your videos ask yourself what do I use on a daily basis that I absolutely love that is related to my niche or what do I use and love on a daily or regular basis that my target audience would love if you're interested in obtaining a specific product you might want to ask yourself what do I really really want that I know that I'll use and love that I can promote on my YouTube channel. So the first thing that I am going to do is actually start looking through my phone and looking at the apps that I have. So now I am literally walking around my house and having a look at what I own that could be a good brand collaboration. So for example, over here, I have my Google Home. I use my Google Home all the time. That could be a really good collaboration for Michelle B. I use O Cosmetics. I've used them for like a good six months now and they are vegan and cruelty free. So they could be a good one for me to collaborate with. I feel like you guys kind of get the picture. I don't know how many more things that I can pick up around my house, but basically just look around your space and even think through like your day-to-day -day routine like what things do you use on a daily basis that could be a really good fit to work with on your channel the other thing that i'm doing is actually taking a look at famebit and seeing what they have available so this is the list that i have so far the next thing that you want to do is narrow it down if you've thought of 20 or so brands you don't want to pitch to all of them because if all of them happen to accept then that's a lot of work for you to do and you won't actually be able to fit it in and you'll be disappointing brands also if you're drafting 20 pitch emails your pitches are going to get stale you want to concentrate on like maybe five to ten with the hopes that one of them accepts that way you can customize your pitch emails really well to each brand. You picked your brands, it is time to craft your pitch. They're gonna walk you through step by step what I am doing to craft my emails. So first you wanna write your subject line. So my subject line is nothing at all fancy. If you can think of like a little quip or something, definitely put that in there, but this is what I've stuck with. Next, you want to get personal. Personalize, personalize, personalize. Think about what kind of emails you wanna get from brands. Generally, they are emails that's like, hey, I watched this video and I saw that you really liked our product, so I wanted to send this to you. Or, or you know, last week we all watched your video in the office and it was amazing and we think that you'd be a really good proponent for our brand because we saw that you value A, B, and C. And don't fake personalize as well because a lot of brands do that. I've had so many brands that are like, we particularly liked your video on New Year's resolutions. And it's just like such a generalized statement. I'm like, I don't believe you. I don't think that you watched that video at all. You might have seen that it got a few views, but I don't think you watched it. So why do you really want to work with this brand? What specifically do you love about this brand? So remember, you really don't want to write a love letter. You want to keep it to a sentence or two when you're talking about why you want to work with the brand. This even is probably a little bit long. So here I'm talking about how much I've been wanting to get a hold of this product. It's on my goals list and that's genuine. That, that This is on my goals list and it has been for a little while. Um, and it's something I know would make my life easier. It's well known in my demographic as the best product. So those are all the reasons why I want to work with them and I'm being very genuine because all those things are very legit. The thing that you want to do is you want to sell your channel as a partner. Now this is the hard part and the part that everyone struggles with, especially if you were a small YouTuber too. So we'll talk about that a little bit. You really want to answer the question, why should this brand work with you? How will they benefit? This is the most important part of your pitch. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, all that a brand cares about is how they benefit, kind of similar to the way that you care about how you would benefit when a brand emails you. If you don't have a huge audience, that's okay. Talk about how tight-knit your community is, how focused your niche is, how you've never done a sponsorship before, so your audience is really trusting how you are a micro-influencer. That's a big fancy word that a lot of people are using lately. Essentially, if you're smaller, often you have more of a sway with your audience because it's a tighter-knit community and people are more trusting of you. 
you can talk about how active your relationship is with your subscribers, how you've had lots of comments where people have bought your recommendations in the past, how specific your niche is and how there are so few YouTubers that cover exactly what you cover. So people are likely to value your opinion higher. You can also talk about how much you're growing so they know that you are a growing YouTube channel. Please don't downplay yourself. This is something that I get when people email me to go on their podcast or people email me to interview me. If you include anything that downplays why a brand should work with you or even tells them to do the opposite, which some people tend to do, you're doing yourself a disservice. So this is me selling my channel. So this is my audience size. It's women ranging from 18 to 34. I'd say that that might be their target audience. It might be a little bit older actually. But that's okay, they might be wanting to target more of these women. So, um, I've also specified my audience are people that prioritize making their lives easier and better because that's what this product is kind of all about. I talk also about how many views I get per video. So these are just all things that kind of sell my channel. One thing to mention is that you need to link to your channel, like have a direct link to your channel. Don't expect them to go searching for your channel because they won't. So make it really easy for them to find you. Next thing is having an idea in mind. So I think that you should have an idea in mind whenever you propose any kind of collaboration, whether it be with another YouTuber or with a brand. Saying I'd love to work with you is generic and it doesn't really give the brand anything to work with. For example, they might have a campaign on improving mental health and they say we want it to be a mental health related video and that's fine, but you don't know that from the get go and you still want to include an idea in your email that they can work with and change if they want to. So that's where I dive into how I want to work with them. So I'm not just being super vague, like I want to work with you, get back to me. I'm like, hey, I want to create this specific video because my subscribers have requested it and I think it'd be the right fit for your brand. So I'd like to create this video where I feature this product for a product exchange. So I've never actually done a product exchange before, but this is a product that I'd be really excited to receive. Then I talk about in the past, I've been lucky enough to work with brand, brands like Skillshare, Blinkist and BetterHelp, which all supported my channel vision, going back to helping to enhance people's lives and make lives easier. And I think that your brand would be another great fit for my audience. So this is actually another way to think of brands that you might want to work with actually going through your content schedule. And sort of looking at, okay, I'm making this video about this, who would be a good brand to work with in that video? So I'm making a morning routine. Oh, okay, I love to work with the place that produced my yoga mat or whatever it may be. And the last thing is attach a media kit. So this is my media kit. It's changed like barely since you last saw it. Um, it is from June 2018, but I think that the stats still apply. Actually, scratch that. Wow, did I only have 200k subscribers when I made this? That feels like it wasn't that long ago. 296. I'm just gonna put 300k because I want to. If they find your email interesting and they are considering working with you, give them all the information they could possibly ever need up front by using a one to two page media kit. This has all your stats, your information, your packages that you offer, all the things that they could want when considering working with you. If you haven't put together your media kit as of yet, I'll have a link to my video telling you how to do that on the screen and down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you soon.